today we are going to learn the next topic in chapter 1 that is introduction and physical geology coming to the next topic it deals with the factors which are affecting the weathering and the product of weathering let us see what are the different type of factors which are affecting the process of weathering and also let us see what are all the product of weathering like what do you obtain after the process of weathering first let us see in the earlier slides we have already seen what is weathering what are the agents which activate the weathering how many types of weathering are there and all now especially in these slides we will study about all those factors which will affect the weathering the first one is the properties of the parent rock here we already know that different minerals will weather at different rates because there is no standard time for uh, all the minerals to weather for example mafic silicates example olivine and pyroxene will tend to weather very faster when compared to felsic minerals like quartz and feldspar this is a example of different minerals will weather at different rates also we know that different minerals will also show the de different degree of solubility in water all the minerals will not sol uh, soluble at the same time or the same uh, type because some minerals will uh, dissolve much more readily and faster than other for example let me tell you a uh, water dissolves calcite more readily than it does feldspar so we can tell that calcite is considered to be more soluble than feldspar let me repeat calcite is considered to be more soluble than feldspar okay come to the next factor that is climate what do you mean by climate here like rainfall and temperature this affect the rate in which the rocks weather uh, we know that high temperatures and very greater rainfall increase the rate of chemical uh, weathering because uh, high temperatures or increased temperatures and greater rainfalls will increase the process of chemical weathering also point to be noted the rocks which are present in the tropical regions which are exposed to abundant or more rainfall and also the hotter temperatures weather very much faster than the similar rocks which are residing in the cold or dry regions hence the temperature and rainfall will play a vital role in the process of weathering okay coming to the third factor that is the soil how soil will get affect let us see soil is affected uh, by the rock weathers uh, because they retain the rain water such that the rocks which are covered by soil are mainly subjected to the chemical reactions with water which are much longer than rocks which are not covered by soils because we know that some rocks are not covered by the soils generally the minerals which are present in the rock which are buried in the soil will therefore break down into more rapidly than minerals in a rock that are exposed to air because uh, the soil is nothing but the disintegration of the rock hence the minerals uh, in a rock which are buried in soil will therefore break down more rapidly than the same minerals which are present in a rock which are exposed to air here this rock is buried in soil here it is exposed to air coming to the next factor that is length of 
exposure what is length of exposure nothing but the time what is the time till when the uh, weathering is happening the longer aerof is exposed to the agents of weathering the greater the degree of alteration dissolution and physical breakup this is very common point the more uh, the rock is exposed the more it get disintegrated or weathered for example lava which is flowing that are quickly buried by subsequent lava flows are less likely to be weathered than a flow which remains exposed to the elements for a longer periods of time exactly because it is very dangerous so the length of exposure also will be a very important phenomenon in the weathering process okay longer periods will have longer dissolution and longer degree of alteration dissolutions and there will be physical breakup of the material or the parent material coming to the products of weathering here the products of weathering and erosion are nothing but the unconsolidated materials which are found around us like on slopes beneath glaciers in stream valleys on beaches and in deserts after weathering you will find this small silty sandy like structure and some of the unconsolidated materials will be accumulated okay the nature of these materials will differ in the composition size degree of sorting and degree of rounding which is mainly determined by the type of the rock that is being weathered nothing but it be, it is dependent upon the parent rock what are the properties which are dependent on the parent rock composition size degree of sorting and degree of rounding also it depends upon the nature of weathering the erosion and the transportation process also depending upon the climate condition okay these are all the major products where these are all dependent upon the parent rock like composition size degree of sorting and degree of rounding let us see one example where some of the common minerals which are present in rocks is uh, provided in this table for example these are all the common minerals and these are all the topical weathering products which are formed for example quartz if it is weathered the product which is formed is quartz as sand grains small disintegration material feldspar clay minerals plus with addition of potassium sodium and calcium okay solution which are present in the solution if we take biotite and amphibole chloride plus iron and manganese in the solution are formed as a weathering products pyroxene and olivine serpentine plus iron and magnesium again present in the solution format if you take calcite calcium and carbonate in solution if you take pyrite iron oxide minerals plus iron in solution and also sulfuric acid is present okay so coming to the products of weathering here they range widely mainly in the size and also shape it mainly depend on the process which is involved in the weathering also when they get deposited uh, deposits like these are turned into sedimentary rock sometime the texture of these rocks also may vary very significantly okay so importantly when we describe sedimentary rocks that form millions of years in the past we can also use these properties to make the inferences about the conditions that, that are existing during their formation why when during their formation okay so 
this is very important. Mainly, the product of weather, weathering will range in size and shape only depending upon the process which is involved whether it is a physical, chemical or biological or what are the different uh, multiple processes involved during their formation from the parent rock. Thank you.